What is up everybody, Brody here, and welcome to a new video. This video is about Legends of Chiba. Yes, I am 16 years old and I still love Legends, love shows like Legends of Chiba. Also, by the way, Fudge of Magic, so you should be surprised. I think I'm better get fuck I think I'm getting a bit of a cold, so I'm, it's probably harder to hear than usual. Who fucking knows? But this is the world's greatest death battle. We have the King versus DK. Yeah, that's all I'd say. Now, back to what I'm doing. Who is the. You fucking kidding me, watch. Oh, this fucking shit. Ah! Why? I don't understand what happens. Thank you. I'm gonna go to Google Chrome now. It's a fucking worst time. I'm gonna fuck it up. So bad, guys. But I'll explain. I'm doing a video because. Well, out of the two villains. It let, uh, the cheap point about saying, oh, the little two fucking villains, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the two villains that really fucked up Chiba. I know the wolves did a good job at fucking up Chiba themselves, but. They really didn't try that hard to fuck up Chiba. Literally. They could have done better than they did. Shit. Hey, shit. I'm bad as both. B I L A F villains. Like, the wolves did fuck up Chiba a lot, but the, the true villains I'm talking about are, are crawlers, feet, that's what they're called, I have no clue, whatever the hell these guys are called, and the hunters. Yeah. First things first, they should be called crawlers. First. Here are the two species of crawl, or whatever the fuck they're called anymore. A scorpion and a spider. They're two other species, there's only one more, which is a bat. But scorpions and spiders, scorpions and spiders are arachnids, so they they share the same kind of same light of where they live and whatnot. But oh fuck, I don't explain this. Scorpion is arachnid like spiders. They each have the arachnid traits and shit like that, and that's why. So who's the better villain out of these two? Most people say obviously. Obviously the hunters, because have you seen how much damage they've done to Chima? But I don't care about the damage. I want the approach. Like he's my point. First you imagine to a lot of villains. Like when the first villain we introduced to Nightmare Moon, we'll hear all this stuff about like fucking here's it is the bat. It's pretty cool enough, yeah. How Nightmare Moon was sent to the moon then she's introduced. And pretty pretty easy. Then we get better ones like Discord, my god, he is a great villain. With John and De John Delancey voice acting him, it's it's perfect. This every line you know he's loving every word he says. Even now that he's good, he still pisses on Twilight. It's amazing. And then the Zomb Zombra, King Zombra. Everyone hates him for some reason. Out of all of them, he was one of the best villains. He stopped everything that could stop him. Crystal Heart trapped. No one could get to it unless you do a certain thing. Just go watch. I forgot his name. That some shit. Still got Glass of Water, who is the best villain by for his last name, but the best approach out of two villains in Lego Chiba are like, Carrier's villains. What the f that, that's Lego Mini. Well, it's Shadow Wind was a really mysterious character. But the approach, Hunter's approach, could have been better. Just the ending of the eye. I expected a giant monster. Well, I didn't expect them to do that, but it would have been better, in my opinion. So, in my, just my opinion, the crawlers are better. Just that intro, it was so perfect, like, attack my Kaboa, leaving them like, yeah, we're just defeating someone. Then they realise, they all turn on each other, which is when they strike again, why they turned on each other, and their best warriors are gone. But that mean best villain, best villains so far are hunters. I think the wolves, they're the most damaged so far. But... <laughs> But I'm just watching what I'm up to, because I've got, I'm not even sure it's finished or not, it probably is. I don't know the hunters have woken the ice bears and the cave bear and the bears that are asleep, like, no, you can't wake them, I'm not the ice bears. <laughs> and they just woke up and, like, for his name, he just goes, nap time. He goes from a normal, like, happy voice to a serious voice, like, fucking cunt, nap time, so I'm gonna get these cunts and shit like that. <laughs> for the brief, son. And also, where in the right mind are the legend beasts for the scorpions, spiders, and bats? Where is their legend beast? Like, where's the one who stayed as a normal guy? 
or whatever. See, we have Eagle Legend Beast. We have Legend Beast for all of them. See, right here, here's the Lion Legend Beast. There. Right here. Raven Legend Beast, there. Raven Legend Beast, there. Bear. That's a bear? Yes. Yeah, the Gorilla Legend Beast. It's, it's all that. That's a yeah, so the best villain is, in my opinion, the wolves, because how much fucked up they did fuck up Chima pretty bad, <laughs> you think about it. Altogether, they were the one of the biggest fucks up Chima ever got. No tribe got Chi, except theirs and the lions. That's <laughs> why I like them so much, it's such fucking cool. And now the other part of this video I'm doing. Smile dog. Dot. JPEG. <laughs> now... I showed my friend, I showed my friend a picture of SmileDog.jp and said, here's the first ever picture of SmileDog. He says, that's not SmileDog. I'm like, it is SmileDog. This is what the woman first got in the creepypasta. She gets it, I'm going to put it in, it's this, and fucking later she gets this. Which is really creepy. But, to get it in your mind, if any of you say, this is SmileDog here, no. This is the first picture of SmileDog.jpg. Because you get sent this, goes away, get sent this, you just don't, like, thinking, like, what do I do? Like, if I found that, I would have no clue to do. I'll probably keep it, just for YOLO reasons. But Smile Dog is, that is Smile Dog, and that is the other one. <laughs> I got his friend, friend Stimpy. I love that show. Smile Dog to JP, friend Stimpy. God. That's Jeff. And why I'm so cool, don't know if you guys would like this as a top 10. Top 10 most. I'm not sure if YouTube's done it yet, but huh? Top 10 most overrated creepypastas. But that I mean ones out there which are good. I'm not saying ones I'm putting on there shit, I'm saying. <coughs> these are really good creepypastas. I'll just hear some here, like Slender, Jeff. The Wraith, Lost Silver, Ben, Herobrine, Smile Dog, Squibward, Tails Old, Red, don't remember him, SVD, Foundation 173, and Pink, like this, them, whatnot. I'm not saying they're bad, I'm saying they're the people list, in my opinion, most overrated ones. Because my friend loves Jeff, the killer for some reason. I don't, she keeps saying, oh, he's the best suit, could pass out there. He is not the best. His ones out there way creepier than his. He just makes no sense in my opinion. You go to a children's birthday party, get lit on fire. Like, who brings waters to a children's birthday party? Even Ben Drowned had made some possibility of realism. My thinking, what do you mean realism? It's just the way it was written. It's just so creepy in that. Thoughts are scaring me at times. And yeah, this is just... It's weird as... Even Scribbled Suicide gave potential that it could be real, even though it's fake, but... These ones out there are so... That is that are really good, but people just don't shut up about. Just tell me if you'd like that to be made. If you'd like that to be made, I'll do top 10 best crew pastors. Best. And by best, I mean ones out there. No, not best. Top 10 crew pastors. Top the most underrated creep bastards. Ones that are really good, but no one's like not many people here hurt of them. Hurt. Fuck. Yeah, hurt. Oh, no. So if you want to get, I said footsteps. So if you want to get someone out there to read good creep bastards, just look them up, or just go type in, or just go to some ordinary gamers. He'll show you. He'll read. He'll read a lot of great. He does lots of great creep bastards. I'm gonna search someone's walking out there. Put in my cap. Love how you got fucking Ben. Don't know. Fucking Cadence. And Jeff. Says he puts scams. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is just. I'm taking this picture out of here. This is a beautiful picture. I'm gonna put that as the thumbnail. It's a perfect thumbnail right there. If you be Legend of Chima, I just fucking see that, you be like, this is not Legend of Chima, I'm in. Then you realise, oh fuck, it's this, it'll be beautiful. So tell me if you think that would be a good idea. Top 10 creepypastas, most overrated creepypastas. 
your decision. Tell me if you want it to be made. And I'll see you all in the next video. Like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you next time. Peace out.